<laughs> Girl, let me tell you, I'm Jessica Flores. I'm Yvonne Rojas. And Gloria isn't here with us right now. No. She is in New York. Killing I mean, it. She's a star. She's being a star comedian out there doing shows, being absolutely incredible. She's double booked. But I'm so excited to bring on my homegirl. Yes. She's an incredible actress. She has this crazy bubbly personality, Chelsea Rendon. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here and join yes. y'all. I've been yes. like, oh, I want to do this. Our no. first kind of like guest co-host, so we're super No, this excited. is a big deal. Ooh, I'm popping y'all yeah. cherry. Yeah, and I want everyone else to know, like, tell us, a little, you've been acting since you were five years old. Yes. That's unheard of. Can you tell us about- Well, your... technically other people, like, are actual babies. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and they don't know they're acting, but you knew it, but, yes. you know? Five, yeah, that's... no, I started acting at five years old in acting class. I literally couldn't read, so my mom had to, like, tell me the line, and that's how I would learn it. So your mom put you, put you on? Yes. Well, so I always say I came out the womb ready to perform. Mm -hmm. And like I was always I being that. crazy yeah, and like singing that. Selena and doing the most. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a couple of people like growing up would tell my mom, like, get her in the business, get her in the business. But finally, one day I was in Vegas and I decided to fake pass out in the middle of the casino. So I literally I'm five years old and I fall and then I'm like, we just for fun, just for, for fun. Vibes. And my mom was the only one that knew it was a joke. And like all my family was like, oh my God, what's God? Ugh. They started calling security. Stop. So my mom's like kicking me. And she's like, Chelsea, get up. They're calling security, Stop get it. up, get up. So then I was like, oh, oh you were committed. What girl. happened? Where am I? And like, I played it I'm off. Done. So then my mom was like, all right, we need to look into this shit. Yes. And like back then she just called like channel seven or channel five. And somebody just gave her the number for an agency. And so my mom called the agency <laughs> and they're like, all right, take some acting classes and get some headshots done and come back. So we did, went back, and they just repped me. And then at six, you got your first, first feature film. Feature film, yeah. So like I did a commercial at five, um, and then at six, I booked the lead of an indie film. I would love and to see a clip of that. I, I hope we can, yeah. we can put it up there. I hope, well, I, I feel sad like after Sean, so we can't talk about Maybe stuff. Chelsea probably actually, changed too much. Just like the height. No, I look exactly the same. I'm I was like, done. I take it back because it was an indie, so there's no sag after Sean because it's allowed. But, um, but yeah, so I went into it, like my mom went into it thinking it was gonna be a hobby. And then when we were like rehearsing for the film, she was like, oh, this is gonna be your career. Like, like wow. And I've You're never looked it. back. You're like I've been able it. to do it for 25 years, have a beautiful career for it. Um, and thankful to work with amazing people, meet amazing people. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, girl, that's a long time in, in the whole. In well, the because showbiz. If you don't, you're an expert. Showbiz, yeah. You're an expert after 10 years. You're, an, you're t double yes. expert. You know, the I know, they say it takes 15 years to create an overnight success. And so at like 15 years, I was like, you're like, it's where time. is it? Where is it? I mean, it? and for you to stay in it for this long, I mean, you're, you're, you're in say. love with it. Oh yeah, yeah and that's the like, thing. It's, it's not. It's this or nothing. It's not work when you love what you yeah, do. I agree. So like, I crave. Like, it's funny because my showrunner Tanya told me to stop saying this, but like, I used to say like. I, especially during the pandemic, I would tell her, like, I feel like I'm a crack addict and like, I need a hit. You need your next You know? Friends. And she's I like, know, um, Chelsea, why don't you just say it feeds your soul instead of saying <laughs> it's a drug? Like that is a little healthier. But like, that's honestly mm. what I feel like. Even right now being here with you guys yeah. like, on a set, I'm just like, I know, I know. You know, and I'm like, I'm like uh, you know? I love it. Well, we're really excited to be here. I know you have a, a lot episode. to say. You're really opinionated. And oh, I'm really yeah. actually excited to get into our first segment, yeah. which is, What's on your feed? Are you ready, girl? Oh, yeah, I know all the feeds. What's going on? Okay, so <laughs> this is something that we keep seeing on our feed right now. Megan The Stallion released her single, Cobra, Ooh, under her label, Hot yes. Girl Productions. We all know Megan The Stallion, she's been through it. She's yeah. been through, been through it. it. She's had a rough, I want to say, like, past, what, two years now? <sighs> Since the whole must, incident with Tory Lanez and stuff years, like yeah. that. She got shot. She got yeah. shot. Straight but, up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, that whole thing still blows my mind. But, yeah, so what do you guys think about her single, Cobra? Have you guys heard it? I actually I mean, have. I watched the music video. I didn't like the music video. I didn't get, like, I get that there was supposed to be a story, but then there wasn't a story. I didn't like it. But, like, I think it's very beautiful to see a powerful bad bitch like her get so vulnerable with the lyrics. Because, like, again, so much songs right now are, like, pussy popping, suck a thing, look a luck a, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, a thing, look a thing. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah. if for, that was, like, it, I was very surprised by it that it felt like, like a real song. Like I, I listen to like old stuff. Like I have my stuff. I listen yeah, to two thousands and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like I listen to Ja Rule. Like I mean, where, for, oh, like always on, on time. You know what I mean? So like I don't listen to a lot of the now music. So I was really impressed by how genuine and like 
open she was. I'm not gonna like lie. Like Taylor I, Swift. I really didn't listen too much to the lyrics. For whatever reason, when I watched the music videos the first time I heard it, and I only kind of paid attention to the visual, which I didn't like. But uh, I, I think I need to go back and actually listen to the lyrics. I mean, did for, you listen to it? She I, talked about I, depression. I didn't, but I didn't, for I didn't, me, I didn't what I that. admire is that she has her own production company called Hot Girl Productions, and she's funding her own music, yeah. which is like not many women yeah, get to do it, especially in this industry, you know what I mean? And she's going to make it, and she's popping off. So yeah. I just like that she's, you know, a trailblazer in yeah. the music business because it's not easy. No. At all. Yeah, she no, literally talks about easy. depression yeah. and like suicidal thoughts. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah I need to go back. And she's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, say it. You know, like. <laughs> say it. So I respect that. Okay. But um, I, I need to go back and listen for sure. The other thing that's on your feed, you probably have seen it, The Golden Bachelor. I have, I have, I have. Oh you guys, my gosh. You guys, okay. I, turns out you can find love again in life. Honestly, this <laughs> show brings me. So much happiness. Because, me too. Yeah, sometimes you feel like at a certain age, like there's no, it's there's the nothing left thing. for me. But how wholesome is it? It, it is. is so you guys wholesome. don't understand. It was wholesome until the last episode when he has three girls left, three women <laughs> who are so in love with the, him because Ooh. they haven't had a love since their husband either passed away. No, all three of them have been passed away. So they haven't felt love or been in love and they are acting like they were 16 year old mm. women. And he has said, I love you. I'm in love with you to each one of them to their eyes. Is that a lie? No, I feel like I'm I don't know. Can you be in love with three women at the same time? Like, is he playing them? Because he I, seems like the sweetest guy. I don't Anyways. know that. My thing is, it's hard. I don't really watch a lot of reality TV. I think The Golden Bachelor is beautiful because it's, it's so again sweet. showing people you can have another love, you can have another My, life. Love is life timeless. Life doesn't end. You love know what is I mean? Timeless. Like, and so that I really admire. But personally, I don't like. I watch Jersey Shore. That's what I watch because it connected to one from before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. So I don't know much about it. I'm not in the Bachelor world, but now I want to watch it. It's exactly. beautiful. I, it's it's so like, cute. It's so wholesome. It's because pure. It's you're pure so love. used to like a lot of these shows. It's very catty. It's just very. Sometimes a lot of the people there are there for the wrong reasons. They want the exposure. A B C D. Mm. These are genuine people that have gone through maybe deaths or whatever. Really looking for love. And I don't think we even talk about that enough is like you've been with someone for so long and maybe there's like a passing away or what, you know, you've been lonely for so long, so many years. We don't really talk about what older, older men and women go through when they're maybe mm. alone and they're going through it. And it's just so, it is so That's true. Awesome. And it actually makes me like emotional. You guys, check it out. Check it out if you have a chance. You know. Yeah, I'm like, I, I need to watch it. The way you guys are reacting, I'm like, okay, no, that you're it's just like, it, that. We haven't seen it before. It's actually different. It's not like a bunch of young, hot, single people. Mind you, they're being beautiful. Stupid. They're being beautiful. stupid, being too like over-sexual. It's just like they're well, genuinely You know, being... I'm watching that reality show, World's Toughest Test, like the Special Forces thing. Yeah, and seen. one of the guys on it is like Tyler K Cameron that used to be on The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't like that sort of thing. But I'm like, watching him through this show, I'm like, actually, I'm interested in that guy. Who is he as a person? Because I thought, oh, you're a Bachelor, you're See, that guy. You lengths. know what I mean? And so yeah. I'm like, oh, I like you a little bit. Like, you seem kind of cool. Like, yeah. I want to be your friend. He's like helping them out and being the leader. And I'm like, respect, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. But like, I just thought he was a Bachelor or like, a part of the bachelor. You automatically world. make those assumptions. Like you're on the bachelor, you kind of already know what you're yeah. gonna get a little bit. Yeah, exactly. It's like seeing them in a different light for sure. Um, and I love that, I don't know, to a certain extent, it does feel like a power couple's gonna like come out of it. And I know Ooh. that's what we kind of wanted to talk a little bit about on this episode was power couples coming together with like your equal, you come whole, you come whole. I think that in my opinion is what a power couple yeah. is. It's like, you're great alone, you are set alone, you're incredible alone, and you come together and it just kind of like blends in together. 100%, 100%. Like honestly, okay, if you've watched anything or NFL at all, you understand that Taylor Swift has taken over the world. <laughs> I mean like And so like over. you cannot talk about power couples without talking about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Like that is the Agreed. it thing right now. Like yeah. it's the it thing. It's insane. Like how much how much more of a fan base got brought to the NFL. I'm sure the NFL is stoked about this, right? They this are milking the shit out okay, of okay, it. But, but they you guys, know you guys, if they pan to hold Taylor it, hold Swift. it because we're we're gonna talk about this in the hot take. Okay, we're gonna get deeper in this. So, okay, so okay. let's. We'll be back. I have hot that. take. Yeah, I think we got that. <laughs> All right, guys, speaking of love, hot take. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are the it power couple right now, right? Okay, first off, well, it's Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey wait, are the it couple. Wait, did I? Give her that respect. You know, put some respect on her name. Yeah. That's true. 
I feel like she definitely owns this situation. Even though like they're at his games, his stuff, like she is the main Well, she's subject. the reason why people are talking about it. Because if it was Travis and, another, you know, maybe someone, I mean, it's Taylor Swift. Anything she yes. does is going to bring attention. It's Taylor Swift. Yo, they literally, the NFL completely went from sports to only <laughs> talking about Taylor Swift, showing her on every thing. Like, she took it over. And so it's again, they, because she's Taylor Swift. Yeah. Are they a definition of a power couple? Like, we got the Obamas. Oh, look. Yeah. They're a power couple. For sure oh, they are. Yeah. I mean, I think Hove and B are a power couple. Definitely. Yeah. But know. like for me, I think the beautiful thing about Travis and Taylor, like look, I'm a big sports fan, so I, I knew okay. I was at the Super Bowl when the Niners lost to the fucking Chiefs. I was there was too. Heartbreaking. I was there too. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't like him because of that, but I think he's an amazing <laughs> player. But yeah. like he is who he is. He has his own name, his yeah. own title. Yeah, like yeah. he's a Super Bowl champion. You know what I mean? Like right. he's already a power she for is himself. Taylor motherfucking Swift. You know what I They're mean? They're both like, coming to this with Like, they don't need each other. They want each other. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I love the most. That's what a power couple is. Like, you don't need that person. You don't need, it's like, we, we, we choose to be each other when we want to be with each other. Yeah. Like, and to be honest, yeah. she makes hella more money than him. And that shouldn't be a problem. No, it should Nobody not should talk be a about problem. it. Like, people have literally said, Wait, like, we're talking about people right have now? said, like, oh, like, she's a billionaire and he's barely making millions. Like, blah, blah. And it's like, who cares? But it's like, how many, how many more men make more money than Taylor and Swift? It's, Do you not uh, want her to I be I don't happy? think many men. I'm uh, like, not a lot. I love Taylor Swift, so I know some stuff. And, like, apparently what one of the big, well, I just follow a lot of things, so I know stuff. I like, <laughs> what do you know, Jonathan? But, like, but I'm saying, like, okay. one of the biggest things that she said in interviews is, like, guys never wooed her. They didn't do beautiful things for her and special things for her. So the fact that he like rented out an entire restaurant to have a party and take her out, like that's something special that she hasn't really had before. So I'm like, I am that's here for nice. Travis Kelsey. I'm nice. showing her I what approve. to do. Who I approve. would take Taylor on a date and woo her and like open the door for her? And Maybe because like, they're intimidated. Like who I could? I think it's intimidation. I don't know how to explain it, but like he seems like he wants to show a woman I'm the man. You know what I mean? Like, and she is so used to being a man it. that I don't think men are used to being able to be a man yeah, with her. Yeah, yeah. No one can like come, like they're intimidated. Yeah. They're intimidated by her. Well, it takes a certain type of man to date someone to be of that, that stature. Oh, yeah. for sure. With so many eyeballs on you, with so much success. Like that's not an easy thing to do. You know, she's already in her masculine so much. She's successful, she makes her money, she's mm -hmm. dealing with the industry, she's dealing with, she's so much in the, the masculine part of her energy to that be that successful needs, to take on the world. That she wants that masculine yeah. so she can let go and be her Exactly. That's self. the thing with me. I'm such a tomboy. Same I'm very here. masculine. But with my man, I'm like, <laughs> babe, hold me, touch yeah. me, love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like when I'm out in the world, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. So I think she needed somebody so that she can be that meow with, you know? Yeah. And I mean, we'll we see if she is that man. Who knows? I was gonna say, I we don't know. Time will tell. I'm so curious to know what it's actually like without all the cameras and without the antics. And I wonder what the real vibes are. But I'm well, people assume. are saying that they've like flown and seen each other. Like they have been doing that already sure. without like all the cameras and stuff. What are your expectations in a relationship? We'll be answering that and many more questions with our special guest, Jessica Marie Garcia. Should married couples still have their own bank accounts? Oh, Ooh. I do. I do. We have our own bank accounts. Separate do you share one or no? No, we don't have any shared bank accounts. Ooh, interesting. So, like, I don't think it's fair to expect a man to pay for everything. I will say, except for the first date. It's so much more attractive when the they're just like, date. I got it. Of course, it's like super attractive. Yeah. All right, and we're back. I'm so excited to bring out our next guest, Jessica Marie Garcia. Okay, let's do your intro because you have done so many incredible things. Jessica, oh, you are a writer, a producer, a soon-to-be director, and you hit the San Diego Latino Film Festival with Illegally Bra Blonde. No, brown. 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 Illegally Brown. <laughs> I knew they it. Made I knew. They made that one. They okay. made that one. <laughs> they already made that one. Already they made that one. And um, so you're hoping to maybe potentially put it into, make it into a feature. Yes. Well, congratulations, yes. girl. It's going to oh happen. Yes. Thank you for being here with us. No, thank you for having me. This is so dope. Like, just even taking in that four Latinas are sitting at a table together. Oh, I know. Crazy. Ooh, I know. So it makes it feel like so, like, we're it's official. So we're real. at a table. It's so real. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, tell me a little bit about this project, Illegally Brown. 
this is something that you, again, like you maybe want to make it, or you do want to make it into a feature. Yes, what is we it about? have, um, so basically it is the story about two sisters, you know, they get taken from their, from LA and they get displaced to Mexico because they're not citizens, but they're also not Mexican. Um, <laughs> oh and my gosh. it's a long story short, it's a love story for these sisters. And it's also an adventure comedy where these girls get involved with terrorists, get involved with the FBI. It's a lot, but it's also something I think that we don't see a lot of us get the opportunity to do. So I'm really excited to possibly be a part of that. But, oh. and not only as a performer, but as a producer. So it's pretty sick. And you have a Latina director. Director, let's writer, yes. yes. So it's like, let's do it. Yes. Let's make it happen. Wait, and then I on top so. of all of this, you're a new mom. I am. Like, well, how do you have, uh, how, how did this happen? Tell me all well, about it. Boss, well, I don't know how, how it happened. happened exactly, but I want to know how, okay. uh, how it's been in your life. How do you, you do it? When two people love each other, <laughs> um, <laughs> how do I balance? I mean, I mean, how has your life changed with this Oh my God, baby? everything has changed. Everything has changed. My, I feel like I was the Grinch and now my heart has grown. Um, wow. it's, it's so, it's the most incredible job that I will ever have. And it's also the hardest, mm -hmm. like mm. every single day is a new adventure. And it's like, it's wild to just see all the things that she's doing every day. Like seeing the person she's becoming. How old is she? oh she's uh, 21 months. I know I'm one of those people oh that are like, oh my God, okay, she's 100 so months. <laughs> I became that person, but it's literally because like a one-year-old, like a 12-month-old and a 20-month-old are different. so different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's almost two, but she's not yet two. I'm so sad. Oh, that she's she's so it's something so that like only moms will understand why you say it like that. In a yeah. way, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you feel like your whole like life view has completely shifted? You're, you're looking at life now through like oh, the lens yeah. of that. And did you always want kids? Always. Okay, and, and obviously you're married. Yeah. No, obviously, but you're married. And so how, how did you know that he was the one? Oh my God. Um, he reminds me why he's the one every single day, but it's, so but it's also that he's the one for me in every stage so far of my life. And Oof. we've been able, you know what I mean? I How think that's what's so together? important because we've been together for 14 years in January. Wow. Like we've been married for five, but we've been together for 14 years. Wow. Like we, um, it's so funny cause we met at a mutual friend's birthday party, but like I was a waitress at Outback. He was in between Outback. catering jobs. Like we both, like he's, um, on the production side, like he's a set dresser, yeah. but not when we met. Like none of, <laughs> like we had nothing. Like we were rubbing two sticks together, trying to like, you know oh what I mean? Goodness. So we've really seen each other through so much that, I mean, that's family to me regardless. Yeah, you Yo, her man you. is dope. Yeah, he, he loves so you, dope. he loves you. He's like, he's like is like, Chelsea like, gonna be there? Yes. Like that's ah, And that's how do you girl. guys keep it fresh? How do you keep it going? Well, you have a baby now, so it's like, Yeah, it so is any is, moment but. you can, that's, that's yeah. keeping it fresh for sure. <laughs> yeah. but, um, well, but also, how how is your relationship with him changed now that there's a child? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing him as a father. And that tells me so much about a man with how he is as a father. I have, <laughs> a horrible dysfunctional relationship with mine. So um, I feel like I would have chosen that 10 times over to be able to say that my husband is my child's father because yeah. she is he is everything I could have wanted mm -hmm. as a dad for myself, yeah. you know? And it's just beautiful. Like, I was gonna make a, <laughs> that's, I was gonna make a dirty joke like, do it, do is it. he your daddy now? Ew, no, I can't do that, I can't do that, no, no, no. I say the worst thing. No, no, cry. do it, say it, say I was it. I was about no, no, to no. cry. Um, and then, then I really hear it. Don't so wanna look at her, she is about to cry. Look, her eyes are watery. Yeah, no, that is sweet. Like, we were talking. We were talking about that um, actually, like off camera. But it's true. Like, and we had mentioned this before. But you, you choose who your daughter's father is yeah. going to be, and like, man, look, look at who you chose. It's somebody that's actually going to be present and actually going to be like a good force in it, in your child's life. So. That's I know, I'm so girl. lucky. I thank God every day for that. But I'm also like, damn, I earned that because my dad <laughs> sucks. Yeah, 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 you deserve it, you deserve it. But I think you can also, you know, choose that same path for yourself or yeah. you can learn to like, mm. you know what I mean? It's not, it's not an easy decision because I think I could have gone down a path of being with somebody who would have been that way. Matched it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's so Well, easy. cause they say like you end up attracting somebody that you know. So yeah. like people, they always say that it guys marry their mothers or like women marry their fathers right. in a sense. But you know what I will say to also attribute that and people ask me all the time, they're like, oh, how do I find like their, like Adam, my husband's name is Adam. Like how do I find my Adam? When I first started dating him, every single one of my friends was like, what the hell are you doing? He's got no job, he's mm. got no car, like what are you doing? I was like, mm. neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but do like, what am I expecting? You saw potential in him? Like, he was a hard worker? Or no, was he I love being around him. Okay. We, like, literally had a, fo- a 12 hour phone conversation. What? About just, like, yeah. That's crazy. And, like, he was on minutes, too, at the time. It was a long oh, time ago. So, like, you know oh. what I mean? Like, he spent that money. That yeah. Data. That data. But <laughs> that, to me, meant so much more because I had already dated people with, like, you know, not a lot of money, but something. And those were horrible. So it was like, why am I going to keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, you know? Mm. And then we've been able to grow with each other. And I know he's not, you know, he knows me good, bad, and indifferent. Yeah, he has seen the worst of me. Yeah. He knows you like inside and out. And that's that thing with those long term relationships. It is like real intimacy. It's like a love Mm. that you can't even, it's not not touchable. Like every little thing can like melt off. Because we're talking about that and independence, it's going to lead us right into our next conversation of Calladitas No More, where we're asking and answering some complicated questions. So we will get into that right now. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the first one. But bam. Okay, so here it is. Does how much your partner make matter to you in a relationship? Should men be the provider? Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna go to married woman. Yeah, let's hear from you first. <laughs> well, um, you know, it's a little bit of an unfair question for me because um, my husband and I, our passions are different, and his are, you know, set um, set design. Um, in set dressing and props and things like that, that's never gonna make as much money as I can make as an actor. So it's really unfair to say, yeah. oh, sorry, my dreams are just more lucrative, so mm-hmm. we can't be together. Yeah, that's true. Like, you know what I mean? That's just a weird, just yeah. Different. Well, and again, it even goes into what we were talking about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey earlier. Like, just because she makes more money than him, it shouldn't matter if he's providing for himself. And like, yeah, I could take you out to date night. You know what I mean? Like, you know, my boyfriend and I, we're both people in the business. I just got a day job. He has been successful without having a day job for years and he's fine with that. But he's not asking me for money. I'm not asking him for money, but he's buying my groceries. Thank you, baby, I love you. (laughs) You know what I mean? Because I'm struggling right now, you know? I mean, I think it depends on like your status in the relationship. If you're married, I have a boyfriend like, his money's money, my money's money. money. Right. If we go to dinner, or I, I'll, I'll offer and he'll say no, or like I'll get us our coffees and stuff. Like it's just, I'm not there yet. That's yeah. what I was like, say. We're like, are we That's sharing baby cows? Like yeah. it's just, you I know what I mean? I think it's up to you. It's it, what works but, for and you. And then also exactly. what chapter you are in your life with that person. So I'm going to take it from the standpoint of where I am dating now, which I'm dating, again, like I know what I want. I want like that long-term longevity. I want a father for my future kids. I'm going to, of course, look to see if this is somebody stable, at least works hard. I don't care stable. if you make less than me, but are you a hard worker Absolutely. or are you just somebody that wants handouts? Yeah. Like, mm. are you somebody that I know I can depend on? This is like a teammate that you're looking mm-hmm. at. You're dating yeah. them to know that they can actually be there. You could be there for them. So, yeah, I'm I'm looking at what how much they're making. I don't need to be this, like, crazy millionaire. But can you provide, like, a safe, steady home mm-hmm. and you know, be somebody that I can depend on and count definitely, on. Definitely, definitely. You know, so I'm not gonna not say, no, I don't care, you know, whatever. No, no think- I'm, I'm looking at those things and I hope he's looking at me, what kind of qualities do I have as a woman? Mm-hmm. You have to look at those qualities for Well, sure. it's like you even said, when your friends were telling saying. you like, he doesn't have this, he yeah. doesn't have that, he doesn't have that, and it's look at the man that he's become and who, right. exactly. who he is, and like you fell in love with him at his core, and like all these things can come after the fact. But like, the fact that, again, when you think about specific type of women that are like, he needs to make six figures, he yeah. needs to no, make this, no. he needs to make that. What are you Wait, doing? Chelsea, have you seen, or have you guys seen those videos of like people going around interviewing women saying, how much does yeah, your future yeah, man have yeah, to make? Yeah, and they're yeah. like, no less than $500,000. I get it, there's women like that out there, but also that's such a small percentage of men. And you're, if that's your end all be all, are you even looking at how they were raised? Who are they? There's so much more that goes into a relationship. It's extremely important, don't get me wrong, that stability, yeah. but are you, why is it so cut and dry? Like. They need to make seven hundred thousand. Like I, yeah, I, I think when you love somebody too, you work with them. You, you work, work together. Yeah. You're on a team in yeah. general. Like you my grow dad, together. Yeah. I think a lot of that is performative. You know, it's just very much <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean. I like, no, there's bitches that are think, like that. There, but it's also I just feel like that's like such a persona that you put on yeah. for people to think that you have some kind it's of status. Not the truth. Like as someone no, who but a lot people of girls think, think I'm like you know that have all this money or whatever, it's just never something I ever want to exude to anybody. That's like it's so gross. But I do. 
blinged out with all your jewelry and your rings. Uh, you blinging, you blinging. This is, I found this on Instagram. I will tag them for you. It's very Please nice. Do. It's <laughs> not. He's like, I don't need Ooh. anyone. Like, oh. It's not like that. But, also, but it's because you live a glamorous life without it being expensive. <laughs> it's a persona I'm giving out to you. <laughs> I'm going back to Van Nuys. Okay, speaking of, this goes, <laughs> <laughs> this goes perfectly into this question. Should married couples still have their own bank accounts? Oh, I do. I do. We have our own bank accounts. Do you share one or no? No, we don't have any shared bank accounts. Ooh, interesting. So who, how do you decide who pays for what you tell We just half? talked about it. And do you guys yeah, have yeah, transparency yeah. at how much oh, you guys yeah, are yeah, making yeah. or do you guys not even touch oh, about Oh, yeah, that? yeah. No, no. We always touch about it. Yeah. Well, and I think that's where it gets a little messy because it's like even if you don't share a bank account, you could still be transparent about I got this, yeah, you got yeah, that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I haven't been in that relationship where I have to share a bank account with someone if I yeah. need one. I share one with someone. So mom. I don't know. Yeah. I've never been in that <laughs> My situation. My mom's on my bank account. Your mom is? Yo, I still oh. have a bank account. With I my make mom sure too. she's, you know, she's got money. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's oh my God, I'm so sweet. Thing I've ever heard in my I'm entire so life. But I think in this day Hashtag and age. Hashtag relatable. Like, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I mean, mom. it's coming. Yeah. Ah. Stay alive. <laughs> no, I've had a few years. No, I've literally had a debit card since I was like, young like probably like seven years old or something because my mom just wanted me because i was making money as a kid like oh look see you're providing you're putting yeah, in so yeah. like i want to show you so like bank of america is like you've been with us for 28 years and i'm like <laughs> i'm two like you know what i mean like i would have been two but it's because my mom's been with the company oh, gotcha, for so gotcha. long you know i also I feel like it has so much to do with how you're raised like yeah. if a dad or you're raised in your family and it's like you have a son it's like son if you're gonna ask a girl out you better have enough money to give her to, to make sure ah. she has a like if you're gonna ask a girl out to dinner and you're like come to dinner oh. with me and then he's like let's put the bill yo did you're you like, guys? Wait, why did you ask me to dinner if you're not inviting me I to dinner? Know, right. Did you guys see that oyster the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The TikTok? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It was some video where like a woman the, the ordered girl. like yeah. three thing, three dozen oysters, and she ate it. And like a guy had asked her out for drinks, so then he left her to pay oh, for no, the no, entire bill. I know what you're talking about. When okay, she's so like, what do you think? Is oh, that is oh, that, that fucking like, shady? Yeah. You left her? You left her, sir? Like, okay, oh, if you don't want to pay for that, then you could say, oh, I'm gonna pay for this part of the bill. You could pay for that. But he left. Her no, there. we saw a TikTok where this guy asked a girl on a date, and then when the bill comes, he's like, "Oh, we're doing half and half," and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this was a date. I didn't know we were gonna be friends." That's funny. I, I thought yeah. you wanted oh. to hook up. That's cool. That's cool. I'm so sorry. Here's my car. Here's my car. And then he's like, you know, like it's almost like if you're gonna ask a girl out, like at least have enough for the ice cream or something, because it's like, I don't do you know. Think maybe that not. Maybe. Do I'm you think crazy. that permanently? Is that just a first date? Thing. I don't know, but I think that's why I think it's so important the way your parents raise you. It's not about how you were raised, it's the social norms that we yep. see. Yeah, it's because we are told that, that a man is supposed yeah. to provide, he has to pull out the chair and do the thing. Now, a lot of guys don't do that anymore. My man does, he's still, you know. Um, but <laughs> I'm like, I took my man on a trip to like Desert Hot Springs. I was like, babe, I've had a crazy month. I wanna go on this trip and I put money on it. He didn't pay. Like I paid I for the hotel. Like he paid for certain meals while we were there. I think it's like but then like you want, recently right? he took me on a trip to Maui. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yo, I was caught in them fires. That shit was crazy. Oh my um, God. Yeah. Oh yeah. But like, so again, I do one trip, he does another, we do things together. Like I don't think it's fair to expect a man to pay for everything. I, I don't agree. think that's fair. I, I think that we could be even about it, and if they want to do it one day, okay, cool. If I want to do one day, cool. But it's not fair to expect somebody. I will say, except for the first date. Except for the first date. Like, I mean, if you wanna, if you like, I, I always pull out, pull out my wallet. I always pull out my wallet, but yeah. it's that I thing that makes out. it a little cuter. Like, no, 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 baby, I got yeah. you. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, that's you what know? I was gonna say. I'd probably <laughs> offer, but yeah, it's that. It's so much more attractive when they're just like, I got it. Of course, it's like super attractive. That's what I look for. I don't know that type of vibe. Have there been any uncomfortable conversations between your husband? with finances? Oh yeah, and I think that also fluctuates with like, like what, like in an argument, I feel like I could use that as ammunition, Ooh. you know? And I've learned Ooh. through That's therapy like the how yeah. wrong yeah. that is. That's wrong, that's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> it. Yeah, but it's, something, but it's something that literally doesn't, <laughs> it really doesn't bother me. It's just in those moments where I'm like, I need something, I need to win this. How do I win this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could oh. use it's that. It's a cheap, it's a low blow, it's but it's something blow. that I've definitely. But yo, it's beautiful that you know that. Yeah, that oh, you're yeah. aware I try to. I try to be, because I don't think it's fair. Um, especially because so often I'm, I'm, I'm so vocal about how it doesn't because I think that at his core he's still gonna have like is this okay like uh, you know but I also have to reassure him like how much he provides in other ways mm -hmm. which I think is priceless 
Yeah, because you, know? you do make more than him. And let's be honest, for a man, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not a man, but I would only assume maybe, I don't know, maybe it could cause some sort of insecurity there. So it I think to. I think somewhere it has to. But, that, but, Adam is such, but Adam is such a man. And oh. that's the thing that's, again. Provider in so many It's not ways. about that. It's just about being confident with yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you are insecure as a man or as a woman, it's going to seep through in every way possible. Yeah. But if a man is confident in himself, whether or not you make more than him is not going to make an issue you know what I mean like because he's confident with himself okay next question how important is love in a relationship and could you be with someone who you didn't really love we're gonna be answering that when we get back Ooh. we're gonna be signing off of IG and TikTok but make sure you guys tune in on me TV we'll be back with us and Jessica Marie it's not that I, I choose love every day it's not like I wake up and I'm like madly in love with this person after 10 15 years it's like you're really choosing to wake up and put in that effort we've gone through trying times I think everybody can say in a relationship that they have but it's never been to the point where I could see a life without him yeah. mm -hmm. on purpose all right, you guys, we're back with Gaia Ditas, No More with Jessica Marie. And we're gonna get back to this question. How important is love in a relationship? And could you be with someone who you didn't really love? And I think this is a cool parallel to our conversation. As you guys know, a lot of women date for clout, money, whatever it might be. Could you guys, could you, Jessica, if you weren't married right now, pretend you were single, be with someone without sure, love? Sure, sure. Um, uh, it depends how needy I needed, like as far as like, am I <laughs> poor, am I homeless? If that were the case, then yes. Oh I would absolutely do that if I like needed, yeah, I think so. So you'd be using the person. But I feel like it's Damn, an exchange. why do you have to say it like it's that? It's an exchange though, right? For women that want the, the guy with all this money and there's no love there, they're getting whatever she's providing. Well, well, I, either way, it's going to be know. an exchange. Either way, it's going to be an exchange. You know what it is. Exactly. Like, I don't think, well, what if you're in a relationship and you're, you haven't said I love you yet? You're not in love yet, but you're in like, you really like them and you've been together for months. And it's not like, I think that you can really like somebody and be in a relationship. I think a lot and then of I think that mm -hmm. if it's going to last a long time, it'll turn into love, and that's going to make it last longer. But I think you can be in like. And be I in think a lot of people are in relationships yes, and they're not in love. How many people break up with someone and they're like, oh, I, I didn't really love, love them. them. Yeah, a lot of people. And then there's a four. Well, I think people. Yeah. There's yeah. a degree yeah. of there's a degree of love in the relationship, but it's not like enough to withstand this the, like the time. Yeah. Well, I think it's also I was looking at it in a sense of like you are married to someone and you have okay. a family with this person. Okay, so from okay. that like, standpoint. So if you're gonna are you okay love to be, for the family. Well, exactly, or like, okay. again, I think a lot of people honestly settle nowadays. You know what I mean? Like, and then there's the other side where they like give up because they don't want to fight with anybody or deal with anything. But like, I know people that you're not happy. You don't really no, love them, I know a lot but of, you just want someone there. I know a lot yeah. of people you know like I mean? back in the day, like with their mindset, it's like we're staying, we're sticking together. We're gonna be a family no matter what. We're doing this for the kids, and that's that. That's an that's an interesting point. From the point of you're already married, yeah. you're no longer happy. You don't really feel like you're in love with this person anymore, but you have kids. Is that a situation you guys would stay in and stick it out because you already have the family? No. Or is no. it like, I'm unhappy, I no longer love this person, I'm leaving? What no. would you guys say? I, I, I could know. never say. I couldn't, I I couldn't say. It's not good for the kids. Exactly. It, that too. It, it, you have, you, it's not good for anybody. No. The husband's not happy, we're not happy. The if kids my parents stayed together, but I would not be here. But what if it wasn't toxic? What if it wasn't toxic? What if it was just... They were best friends. Like, I don't But love then you you're missing anymore. out, but then you're, I think your child would never want you to miss out on a side of you that you might even, in a no. way, resent them for mm -hmm. because you dedicated your life to a relationship that you didn't want because you gave that much you're to gonna, your child. You're gonna, you get annoyed, like my mom always gives me this example. You're gonna get annoyed by the way he leaves his towel on the floor or the way he leaves his socks or his shirt or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But because you love him, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But once you start losing that love, and then it's like his fucking, oh, his socks again, his towel again. Uh, uh. So it's like, I couldn't live with that. I couldn't live through I that. I think you're, you're really good to ask this question because you've really been with someone for super long. Do you feel like you've always felt love? Because a lot of the times I hear people say that I've been with someone. It's not that I, I choose love every day. It's not like I wake up and I'm like madly in love with this person after 10, 15 years. It's like you're really choosing to wake up and put in that effort. You know, what happens if you just stop putting in that effort? You know what I mean? Um, I, I mean, we've gone through trying times. I think everybody can say in a relationship that they have, but it's never been to the point where I could see a life without him yeah. mm -hmm. on purpose, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like anytime we got to like the worst argument where I'm like, okay, this is it, we're done. And back in my head, I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. bullshit. Like yeah. that's not, that's not happening. Yeah. Like it's, I've just never been 
so out of love that I didn't want to be, or like maybe I need a break, or maybe I need a, like a weekend away. I never, I haven't had mm -hmm. that. But I think it's also because we prioritize in like our time independently, like our independent time, yeah. so that we're not just like, you know, just seeing each other all day, every day, if that makes sense. <laughs> Why, what happened? Like this, like you guys aren't oh, just oh, in each other's like, faces. <laughs> oh, like, oh, like, <laughs> but that, you know, he's a middle I child. Like, I feel you I'm right here. Child. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I also think it's, the difference between the idea of a relationship and the reality of it. Yeah. And it's like people say, and I got this from, you oh. know, a show. But like a woman said, like, I'm not, um, I don't love him all day every day, but I love him every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And like everybody thinks that, no, everything has to just be amazing, period. And no. it's like, it doesn't work like that. I don't, I don't like him every, a lot of the time. <laughs> evolves, it Tell evolves. You can go like honeymoon stage. Y'all, ladies, ladies. We can talk Last about this question. all day. I have a question I want to ask you. Have you ever been the dependent one in a relationship? Like financially? Obviously. And, yes. I, I think Wait, it could be a lot of things. I think it could be a few like, things. Or emotionally. Like you could be emotionally dependent on somebody. Yeah. I could say like financially, I don't think I've ever been. No. no. I've never been dependent. Financially, never. I don't never. think I've ever been dependent on a partner, but I've had partners that were dependent on me for their happiness. Oh. And that was really okay, crazy to me because it was like if I wasn't responding or if I wasn't there, if I wasn't showing up, they wouldn't be happy. Like it was like I, I need to be with you also. And I, it was it was a lot to take on because it just showed that there was something that they were missing that had nothing to do with me, but like my little void of you know love and it was a, was what they thought was happiness. But in yeah. reality, they had to work on that on their own, and that's why we're not. So together you're anymore. saying that like you're that. The, what I take from that is like they're codependent. I I guess code like they're dependent on another person for their happiness, and sometimes that's not very like doesn't last very long. I think yeah. I think I've been there, but not to that extent. I think I've been at a point where I'm talking to a guy and like how they and this was when I was like a lot younger. Yeah, a lot how younger. they would respond. I'm like, okay, it could either make or break my day. Like, how's yeah. the conversation yes, go? When yes. you're younger, right? Obviously, yeah. when you get older, you recognize, okay, I can't. All my happiness and focus can't be on this person. But yeah, I think I've, and then guys have also been dependent on me to the point where it was like really unhealthy. Right. You know what like, I mean? Where it's like, if you break up with me, I'm going to be on some like, maybe maybe hurt myself or things of that nature. Like it's gotten maybe to that Ooh. point, oh, which wow. is scary. I don't, yeah. you know. When well, I think that's where like Jess said earlier, like prioritizing time for yourself. Yeah. And it's like, I've been in hard times where I call my man and he is a very, I say he's from 1920s. Like he <laughs> will put his phone down for five hours Aww, and like go skateboard or go surf or do that. So like I got used to not hearing from him like at the beginning. And now he's like on his phone more cause he loves me. Um, <laughs> but uh, there were times where like I would call him, like something happened at night and he puts his phone on sleep mode. I call, he didn't answer, but I have my girls that I could call. So yeah. then I don't feel alone and I, at least I have someone that can help me through that moment. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like, mind you, he'll tell me after like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Or like, what happened? And then I'm like, oh no, well, like Jack got me through it or whatever. And like she said, prioritizing your independence and having your own tribe that it's not, you're only relying on your Definitely. partner. I do, I, mean? I, I, yeah, I agree with that for sure. It's not the only person, but I do want to be able to, but not your only person. It's all about your camaraderie with your girls. Yeah. Like this table, like literally it's what it's about. Hey. You can sit here and exchange ideas and really bounce ideas yeah. off of each other, which is what I'm like so And have different for. point of view. Yeah. They're completely different and point of And you guys ways. hear it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like, and but don't it makes be you afraid think. to reach out to your homegirls because yeah. they could really give you some clarity for things that you're like beating yourself up with. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, uh, exactly. I cannot yeah. thank you enough, Jess, for being at the hey. table. No, Give thank us you. Yeah. Where are we at? Before we head over to the bar, because yes. we're going to head over to the bar for to get a drink, where can everybody find yes. you and keep tabs on you? Um, please follow me on the Instagram. On the ground. She's a TikTok queen. I'm a TikTok queen too but um at jess underscore m underscore garcia there's a lot of names that are mine um and then on tiktok at jess marie with no e garcia that's it okay, no with girl, no you e? got the names you could they it took up. it someone took it <laughs> we're gonna get that back for you bro uh -uh. well thank Not you for being worry, here love thank you. you this was beautiful thank Half you so we do high five. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's actually high five <laughs> that was a blast would you rather your heart light up anytime you have a crush on somebody or like you're attracted to somebody. Like it could even be like your friend's dad or like your your brother your boyfriend's like brother. Or have your butt light up if you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> in like you could be like with the president of the United States. You could be like with on a date and then it lights up like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. 
All right, ladies, we are back, and I'm excited to be with you guys to make some fierce espresso martinis that are going to help you express yourself. I've never, made one. I've never made one. I've never made one, but I, I could really use one if it wakes us up. Well, it's espresso. So it's going to wake us There's literally like coffee beans and coffee right here. It smells delicious. If you could smell this right now, it smells... Yeah. Well, I actually like don't shop. even like coffee, so I'm not that excited to... But you're going to But I'm going to do it because... So I'm a bartender in training right now at work. So like, I'm really excited to like... I'm like, I have the power. Okay, Run so it. this shaker is a little different than like the ones at my work, but technically it's all about like the... The up okay. and down, okay. the rhythm, like very Colombian. It's almost, oh, it has to hit from back to front, back to front. You know what I mean? Um, so we are about to get into this. Let's Can do I try it. Drink. Okay, you want to try? Okay, how's mine? You That's tell it. me because you're the teacher, right now. Okay. Oh, oh my God! God. You see it? It's different. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try one more time. I'm redeeming myself. Let me try. Okay, you have twenty. Take one. Take two. Let me try, let me try. Honestly, me try. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> My hand's too small for this. Try yeah, it. it is hard with this one. I don't even know where to start. Back, back, forth. Just go. <laughs> no, you guys. The face that you it's coming out of all angles. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like the point that they talk You're about good. is making a rhythm. Making okay. a rhythm. Make like a rhythm. It. Yeah. Okay, so we have the ingredients here. It's two ounces of vodka, half an ounce of coffee liqueur. Okay. I don't know why I said that word. Liqueur. liqueur. What is liqueur. it? Liqueur. Nicole. One ounce of espresso and then half an ounce of simple syrup. We got it right here, so it could be easy peasy. We got ice already in the shaker, so I'm gonna do mine. Bye bye, um. Woo! Look, see, Hit I'm you. like, I'm cute. Mm -hmm. She's cute with it. She's cute with it. Okay, so this is mine. See the shake. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Oh my God, that rhythm! I can it's dance a good to rhythm. it. Okay, so. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Amazing. How satisfying was that? Okay, so now we gotta top it off with a little bit of. Look at you. This is amazing. And then... I don't know if I could ever be a bartender. All right, so let's our hit turn. It. Okay, now that we're all here and we're chilling, what are some things of this episode that stuck with you? Honestly, my top is. I love relationship goals. So, like, it's about finding the Travis to your tailor. Like, be a boss in yourself. Find a man that's a, bo a boss in himself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like make that power couple. Cause I think people always try to look outward to fulfill them and like they're 70 and they're waiting for the other person to make them complete. And like, I think with that relationship, like they're both 100 and like, that's, you know, that's what I think me and my man are, you know? Mm -hmm, so like, that's mm -hmm. what I want everybody to do. You're so cute. Yeah, I she loves her man. You. There's a lot of talk of like, you don't want to depend too much on your man, but I would argue that if you're dating someone you can really rely on and you trust their heart, you trust their judgment, look at who they really are, look at how they are with other people. I think it's a beautiful thing when you can depend on your man, to be yes. honest. To depend on him in every sense of, in every sense of the every word. Every sense of the word. And like emotionally, even if you need it in that time, financially, these are tough times. So don't be afraid to do that, because I do hear a lot of, talk online about you can't depend on any man, every man's trash. No, there's some great men out there. Just no. be aware of who you're dating, be aware of who they are. We've like, all had bad experiences. I'm gonna see how dependable Ivan is making this <laughs> shaking this drink right now. Dance, dance, it's a little rhythm, right? <laughs> so the I'm only lucky. thing also, it's hard with this one, but it's supposed to be angled like this. Like this. Okay, so, so that, when you're shaking that, it, that but like with this one, it's hard because of we, we can't like grip it the same way. It's you, girl. Now you gotta nice. do that thing. I think don't settle. Mm. Don't settle. You don't have to settle. You can be happy in a relationship and and like you know yourself, love yourself, and then you won't accept anything less than that. And I think that love is real, and you can be in a loving relationship mm. and not settle for less. I really believe that. So if anybody's in a relationship that they're not happy with, um, it's time to reevaluate your life. Don't stay, yeah, <laughs> don't stay longer than you should. I've done that. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, now your turn. Let's go. This is actually- So you have to hold the pressure on that. Don't be afraid to make a change. <laughs> I'm not, this is not meant for me. <laughs> there we go. I'm actually excited to try it. Try it. And then, you haven't tried it, huh, girl? No, I was going to see Oh, this is hard with these nails. Yes. Oh my god. But it looks really pretty. All right, well, cheers, guys. All okay, right, careful. cheers. Ojos, Chelsea. ojos, ojos, ojos. Ojos. Corazón. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. That's actually not bad. Mm. I like that one. I'm like, mm. at first it was a little, like, ooh. Well, we're gonna get Chelsea in the next episode, so let's get to know you a little bit better. Oh. Mm. And what better way than would you rather? You played, you played would you rather before, rather. of course. Yes. Okay, but the thing is, like, whoever gets voted out needs to take a sip. I'm down. Okay. Are you down? Well, you've been drinking, so I'll I know you're down. There's not <laughs> enough chance <laughs> left for me, but. All right, first question. Would you rather have a one minute conversation with your past self or your future self? And what would you say? Ooh. Ooh. Future. It's same, same. Obviously. Because then like, it would like, bitch, calm down. Like it's gonna happen. And yeah. you, now I don't know it, cause I overthink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you already went through it. The past is the past. It made me who I am well, now. It depends, cause point? I was a traumatic, I've had trauma in my life. So I would go back to be like, it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. That would be one thing. That's but true. right now, because I've been healing, I'd rather go, in future. The future. Gosh, there are so many moments like back in the day where I would just like hug myself and be like, it's Ooh. gonna be alright. Oh, yeah. me too. It's gonna be alright. So wait, what do you use? Future for sure. Yeah. Okay, so then do we all take a sip since we're the same? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, have a, I have a funny question. Okay. A good question. I like this question. Would you rather your heart light up anytime you have a crush on somebody or like you're attracted to somebody? Like it could even be like your friend's dad or like your your brother your boyfriend's like brother. Like even for a second, like if you get a little turned on, it lights up. Would you rather that? It could be anything. It could be like your friend's boyfriend. Oh and he looks so hot and it's like ding. And your friend's or, like, wait. Or what? Wait, like or, you're exposed. Or, yes, or you're being exposed. Or have your butt light up if you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> in like, you could be like with the president of the United States. You could be like with on a date, and then it lights up like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Both. Would you, what would you uh, rather? Really think about it. Honestly, sure my butt. but yeah. What? I'm like, like but. What gonna do? Like, what if I'm no. one day with like, you know, my husband of so many years? No matter what, yeah, you're gonna find other people attractive. That's again, like, looking, looking isn't up. a problem. Looking isn't a problem. But yeah, other people might be offended, offended by it. You know what I mean? So I'd rather be like. My butt lights up, and then I just wear a coat. I wouldn't want you know my man's I mean? heart to light up every time he saw a pretty girl. I would be like all the time, like really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come here, real, real, real quick. That's the thing. I don't know. Mm, I think that's the butt. funniest question of my but own. But that's the problem because then you're gonna be watching TV and it's gonna be like light, yeah. light, light. <laughs> like I wouldn't be able to watch any of my shows because my man's just gonna look at me and be like, really, really? Yeah. And I'm be like, look at his eyes, babe. I could feel it all, you know. Yeah. So, but anyways, but, I'm what would your answer? I, my heart. You'd rather have really? your heart light up yeah. and expose yourself. Yeah, like uh, I like what a I guy like. walks in the room, and you're just like. Then that guy it gets a compliment. Everyone, there's pretty people in the world, you know, like. Pero tu pareja <laughs> is gonna be sitting with you every I time that guy saying. walks in the room. Imagine you guys, like you're I just don't lighting know. up like crazy, and your man's just like looking at you like, whoa. No, thank you. No, thank <laughs> you. Sounds I like a personal problem. Okay, but, next one. But but. Oh wait, you're the odd man out, so you take a sip. Okay, here we go. Next question: Would you rather live in a world without color or without music? Is that even a question? Without well. No, I'm like without color. Without color. Like, Are you music? sure, you guys? Without color? Yeah. So everything just black and white. Everything's just nothing. People live like that all the time. My boyfriend's partially color black. Actually, a lot of men are colorblind. My boyfriend and his brother. But that's kind of sad. You know what I mean? That's so but like, sad. I love color. Look at all of, of your lips. Like everything Your color outfit. is. You would never hear Selena. But color is poetry too. Music comes from color. So what would you choose? Music doesn't come from color. Taylor Swift makes music about like, color. But what would you choose? See, Taylor I'm Swift. I'm a Swiftie. But what would you choose? You would I choose think, color? I think I would choose color. And then I just make music in my head. Well, you can't. Music doesn't exist. It's a world without music or it's without color. Talking. So if music doesn't exist, you never know it would, you wouldn't miss it. Well, neither would color. Yeah. All right, well, no color, no music for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. You're the odd man out again. Yeah. Oh, my God. Excuse me. You guys, choose. see you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, you read the next one, girl. You got okay. this. And this is from the Glamity Hotline. Would you rather have tons of hair all over your body or, or none, none at, at all? all? Tons of hair. Tons of hair. Wait, 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 but you can't shave it. <laughs> like back hair, armpit. Like it would, be, it would be all my leg right now. Okay, no hair and then I'd put on a wig? Okay. That's what I was gonna say. I'd rather that. have no hair and put on a wig and but put what, on okay, lashes but what if and there, That's not an option. Oh Lord. Okay, I mean, no hair. you are no naked hair. mole rat, no hair. or you're like a hairy beast. Yeah, no hair. I think I would go naked mole rat. At least I'd be smooth. No, it wouldn't be a hairy beast. It would just be <laughs> us. like so smooth. No, you guys, you it would like be. A thumb. It would be like us, just not taking care of. Just like a little bit of hair everywhere, like a little nose, a little. But hairy back? You said hairy no, back. No, we wouldn't have a 
hairy back. We wouldn't have a hairy back. Some Women don't people have would, no, but we, no, us. No, us. you don't know that. We've been shaving our whole lives. We don't know how, the potential. I never shaved shave your back? back. Oh, I've never shaved my back. Well, so that's what we're saying. But let's see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no hair on my back. But there's other places. We don't know how long. It, what would happen you guys, if it you really didn't that shave long. your entire Nothing life? Nothing that long. You guys know that all this hair is to protect us. To protect us. Eyebrow hair to protect us from dust going into our eyes. Eyelashes carries the no, dust. No, the eyelash armpit. I'll do that. But think about it. Armpit grow, is so that you can lay your head and do a little pillow of whoever you lay with. What? You'd grow. You'd grow. I'm sorry. You just said the armpit <laughs> hair is so someone could use it as a pillow. <laughs> what else is it for? I don't know. Hair follicles do stuff and <laughs> wait. What, 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 what is the point of armpit hair? What are you protecting? I don't. I'm not God. I didn't make this shit up. <laughs> well, I'm just asking. Where are you at, God? Okay, oh my God. next. Who did it drink? We're all drinking it. We're all okay, drinking it. Yeah. There's, no, there's no right answer for that. You're going to mm. lose regardless. Well, you guys, today has been, to say the least, fun. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have Chelsea here. Chelsea! Of course. Oh, thank you for And Chelsea's me. coming back very soon, so you got to watch that on MeToo.tv. Got to bring this energy back. Like Stay always, I'm Ivana Rojas. I'm Jessica Flores. I am Chelsea Rendon. And, and this, this is Girl, Let Me Tell You. Tell you.